Park, and why? I guess I asked this at the beginning, but why does it matter? Um, why does this make a difference, whether it happens or not? A person's life, no matter who you are, is better when you work. Work is a part of life. It gives you fulfillment. It, it gives you the independence, the economic self-sufficiency uh, to, to have a more full life. No one wants to be shunted aside and sit at home and watch TV all day. People want to work. They want to be a part of, a, of the American experience. They want to contribute to society. And to leave behind uh, so many millions of people who have qualifications, who can do a great job, they may have a disability, but they have abilities to do things. To leave them behind it is just unconscionable. It's not worthy of a great country like America. Well, we are going to leave it there, but we thank you both very much for joining us, Senator Tom Harkin, Jill Houghton. We appreciate it. Thank you. Finally, this week's edition of Need to Know looks at the tough financial straits for Americans living just above the poverty line. They have trouble making ends meet, but don't qualify for government help. Reporter Stacey Tisdale tells the story of the Lopez family in Newark, New Jersey. Here's an excerpt. We asked the single mother, who lives with her two grown sons, to keep a financial diary for a month. Juanita's family has three sources of income each month. The $1,160 she gets from unemployment benefits. The roughly $1,640 her older son Andre takes home from his work as a security guard and $115 that she receives in food stamps. Juanita's other son, Giovanni, is unemployed and does not contribute to the household's income, which totals up to $2,915 each month. That's about $35,000 annually, significantly more than the federal poverty line for a household of three. The family doesn't qualify for welfare or Medicaid. Juanita, your annual family income it's $15,000 above the federal poverty line. It seems like you shouldn't be in such difficult financial circumstances. Yeah, you're right. But the bills that I have, they add up. In fact, the biggest chunk of their income, Andre's salary, is spoken for even before the check is cashed. We meet up with him on payday. What are you going to do with the money? Pay bills. Pay bills. Pretty much the money was gone before. It was made. Yeah, before they, that check was made. The family says they haven't even been able to put enough money away to buy Andre new glasses. The screws on both ends are gone, and my leg here is held by tape. I usually put crazy glue when it keeps coming off. Watch how their $2,915 disappears in the month of May. First, there are the basic expenses. $405 for rent on their federally subsidized two-bedroom apartment and utilities. $315 for food. $40 for laundry. $734 for a car payment, car insurance, maintenance, gas, and tolls. $658 toward credit card bills, hospital bills, and student loans. Student loans from Andre's studies at Community College. He was hoping to become a special education teacher, but dropped out because he couldn't afford it. Their total expenses would be even greater if Andre was paying down a growing credit card debt from when he bought his first computer for college. A collection agency is after him for the money. I had a 29% APR. I had no clue what that, what that really meant. I thought it was like um, 29% one-time fee or something, and I couldn't pay anymore. Why, why keep paying something? that it just keeps growing, and so I just gave up. Because they are poor and live outside the financial mainstream, Juanita and her son have extra expenses that many of us don't have to pay, what some call a poverty tax. $165 to park their car in secure lots because she's afraid of the car theft in her neighborhood. $42 goes to check cashing fees. When Andre gets his twice monthly paycheck, he cashes it at a check cashing store. The family's fearful of the penalties that banks charge if a check doesn't clear. With less than $100 in savings, they have precious little room for miscalculation. Cashing this one check costs Andre $18. That's the equivalent of almost two hours of take-home pay. 
find out what difficult decisions the Lopez family eventually made. Living on the Financial Edge airs tomorrow night on most PBS stations. Again, the major developments of this day, Syrian tanks and troops massed outside Aleppo for a major new assault on rebels there. And Wall Street rallied after the head of the European Central Bank to keep the...